when I do a Pampered Chef show, I would um, turn up to somebody's house, um, the person would be the call, called the host, um, and I would turn up slightly earlier than the rest of the guests in order to set up everything on the table. Um, all I would need is a dining room table and I would put my tablecloth out so I would keep their table nice and clean um, and I would set out all of my products. Um, now when the guests arrive, because it's um, a show and it's a social event, um, people would be offered drinks and then when everyone had arrived we would probably um, you know, make sure everyone had drinks and I would explain what would be happening um, during the evening. Um, I would explain the guest specials, for example, if people spent so much money they would get a free gift from the Pampered Chef. And um, I would also explain how you would go about hosting a show, because the best way to get someone to want to host a show is to come to a show, um, they'll see how much fun is involved and they'll want to have a show of their own. So I'll explain to them um, what they can expect from their show if they chose to host a show. And you could get free products, you can get discounted products. Um, and um, there are special um, bonus gifts that you can get depending on your level of sales. We do a, what's called a hands-on cooking show where everybody gets involved um, they all get to try out the products for themselves because um, just looking through the catalogue doesn't really um, do justice to the quality of the products. Today I'm going to do a curry in a hurry which is very popular especially with the men because they like a curry. I'm going to be doing the curry in a hurry. I would start off with um, showing the classic batter bowl um, which is this two litre jug. Um, it comes with a handy lid it can be frozen, um, it can be put in the freezer, it can be put in the fridge. Um, it's quite good because it's clear, you can see the ingredients that you have inside it. And this particular recipe um, is quite good at demonstrating the fact that you can actually prepare these recipes, put it in the fridge for later on in the day when you're ready to cook it. Smell the curry already. I'm going to measure the double cream in the Easy Read measuring cup. Um, this is a nice little jug, it's got um, a nice grip handle here. And I'm going to add that to our batter bowl. I'm going to use, um, this is the mix and scraper and uh, it's a little bit like a, like a spatula. Um, apart from the fact that it's got quite a strong head. Um, it's made from silicone, it's quite um, bendable. Now I'm going to use a food chopper. Um, this is a, a favourite with a lot of hosts. They always like to get these free um, after hosting a show. It comes apart completely to go inside the dishwasher. And that opens out. Um, it fits together a bit like a three pin plug. So like that. Cover goes back on and you can either use it with or without the lid um, you can put um, herbs in there you can put nuts in there and chocolate and um, pop the lid on and then chop the lid on or you can do what I'm going to do um, I'll just move the jug out way so you can see and um, we're going to chop up this onion and the beauty of this is that it's all contained so there's no crying when you when you're chopping the onion and you can choose how um, thick you'd like or coarsely or fine you'd like the um, onion to be chopped by the amount of times you hit the um, chopper. And there you go. Um, this actually works, it's got a zigzag blade and it rotates 45 degrees every time you hit the top. Um, and that's how it works. I'm going to just do the other one. This is the um, lemon juicer. Um, ordinary lemon juicers, you would normally put the lemon in like that and squeeze this one. Um, slightly different, you put it in upside down. Um, I'm going to use that one there because it's a bit flatter on the end. Uh, and it turns your lemon inside out. It gets out quite a lot of lemon juice.
lemon inside out. You can also use this for um, cheeses like parmesan. to use a garlic press. Um, this is something that can go in the dishwasher. It's got quite a large hop for the garlic and I'm going to put the garlic clove in there whole. You don't have to um, take the skin off or anything. Um, and then you just squeeze it into your dish that you're making. And as you can see, um, it's come, quite a lot's come out. You use your little tool to scrape away the garlic on the side. Um, and then you'll see that the garlic skin is inside there. Um, this uh, little tool uh, helps to take the skin out. It's like a little doll's brush. And we're going to cut the chicken up raw straight into the mix with the kitchen shears. Taking care not to cut my fingers. So we put the rest of the chicken in the bowl. Give it a mix. And we're going to be using um, the deep dish baker. Um, this is one of the really nice products with Pampered Chef. Um, uh, is their range of um, stoneware. This is a glazed one. Um, it's a deep dish baker and it starts off um, very very pale and the more you use it the darker it gets because it builds up a non-stick layer um, and as you can see it's quite brown and shiny in there. This is very well used at our house. in the oven. It goes in the oven for about 35 minutes on around about 180 degrees centigrade and um, at this point I will um, encourage all the guests to go and get themselves another drink and then I will hand out some catalogues for them to look at and they can choose to buy products that they've particularly liked um, that they've seen in the evening. Um, then I will remind them again about the guest specials and um, how to host a party. And then I usually end off the evening by taking the orders and then I pack up and go home and leave them to um, their entertaining. <laughs>